for both of you. Um, not having uh, not having Liz out there, not having Dan out there a second time, um, but a, a game like this against Boston College, who's been hot, how important was it for you both to really kind of help set the tone early on and really put this game away in the second quarter? But you had but you had a big lead there early too. You got it. Oh. Um, it is very important because those are two starters, two significant players on our team. And this, these games coming forward in this game were very important. So we knew us being upperclassmen, we had to lead the way and um, just go out hard. For both of you, all Jazz and Callie, how does it feel to be the undisputed regular season champs of the ACC? It feels good. Um, like the last couple of years, we've been having to share it. So for it, for this year, for it to be the first time outright ACC championship, and for us to do it our senior year, it feels great. And uh, just got to keep going, keep it rolling. Yes, most definitely. You guys are now one win away from being the winningest senior class in program history. I mean, did did that really sink in? Were you aware of that? You know, coming into this week at all? Uh, yeah, we were aware of it, but I mean, it's just the teams ahead uh, before us that led the way too. I mean, when we were freshmen, we had great players, sophomore great players, junior. We all stepped up. So I mean, it was a team process, but it feels great. Did do you think that having those experiences, being on those, those teams that were so successful, really helped you know build to this point? Yes, most definitely. Me watching the players ahead of me and then <laughs> transforming into the player that I see I want to be, I think they helped a lot. Yeah, I said, yeah, when the ACC chance came in, you got pretty excited there on the bench. The whole bench did really just what was that feeling like, a first outright title for you guys? I was just trying to egg it on. It was a little quiet behind me, so I just start throwing my hands up and trying to make it louder, just trying to egg it on. But, no, nah, it's cool for real, though. Um, it's just a, it's a great feeling. We just, like I said earlier, um, you just got to keep it rolling. Kylie, um, looked like you were, um, you know, showcasing your point guard skills there at the uh, end of the first half. Um, you know, you know, walk us through that play, you know, where you get the steal, um, and and how big was it to uh, to uh, end uh, the first half on that note? Uh, I mean, it, it was nice. It was a good feeling. But honestly, when I got the steal, I looked for Jess, and then I looked for Jazz, and then I saw the time, so I said, "All right, here we go." We go, Kylie. Jazz, just talk a little bit about what you've seen in the growth in Cali from her freshman year to now. I mean, it's just like when we all came in, we was looking at freshman pictures of us the other day. Like, we was really, really skinny. <laughs> and, like, we was so small. And now you just look at us just grown women now. And it's just so proud of this one. You know, man. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm not <laughs> cry. <laughs> but, no, I'm really proud of Kali for real, though. But, like, Kali has a chance to be ACC Defensive Player of the Year. And that's big time. Kali been blocking shots all her life, probably. Because she probably been bigger than everybody else. But I'm... I'm really pushing for Kyle to get this ACC D Defensive Player of the Year and probably uh, National Defensive Player of the Year. But it, it's just like, it's just a true testament to her, like just standing in the gym every day, watching film, and then timing block shots. <laughs> Kylie, you have been, you've been a different player this year, but recently the last couple of weeks, was there, was there a moment that you remember that, when it kind of just kind of clicked again for you to take you to that next step, and then will you ask Coach to run a set for you as a point guard now? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he will. But <laughs> um, I, I would probably say after our losses, having us take a step back and realize like what our goals are and what we really want, I realize that we all have to step up as a team, so I just got to give effort and know that I'm playing for not only myself but my teammates. For, for both of you, the success you guys have had here and the runs you guys have been on, how much you feel like those have molded you into the, the players that you guys are now in terms of the way you've been able to handle adversity and the way you've uh, had success so far in your careers? I think we've been in every, every, almost every situation uh, it can be. Like our sophomore years, getting to a Final Four, um, get going into overtime, and then just learning from that game. And then last year, the Elite Eight game versus uh UConn, it's just learning. So, like, this year, we're the uh, seniors on this team. We're the veterans, and we know what what it takes to get back to a Final Four. And, uh, like, every position, every situation that we could possibly be in, we've been in before. And so, it's just it was, we just learned through, learned through that, and then we could just apply it this year. 
That was a great answer. <laughs> Jazz, what have you seen from Mikasa um, over the whole course of the season, but especially in these last few games with Dana out? Man, let me tell you. So, Casa, <laughs> for real though, Casa has been playing great. Like, she sure showed a spurt in that uh, Notre Dame game when she almost, I think she had a, did she have a double-double that game? Well, she almost had a double-double. And then in the pit game, she played unbelievable, too. And in this game, too, like five assists, one turnover. Like, Casa's been playing great. She's been a point guard. She's not doing too much. And she's, she's doing exactly what we need to do. And she's rebounding the ball well, too. So is Kylie. Kylie taking everybody rebounds. <laughs> but uh, Casa's she's just playing great. And she's been consistent, too. And we need that. Uh, we need everybody around this time just to be consistent. Balls the other day about Mikasa said that you know he's trying to get her to not do this the fake hustle where she maybe dives on the floor goes for balls that she knows she can't get just because you know it's a hustle play uh, I mean is that something that you know you guys had to learn kind of earlier in your careers as well yeah he calls it almost everything fake hustle though but um that's just Casa's uh, true instinct she hustles all the time she's been doing that since she was in high school and so that's just how she is she like she's that she's that player that's gonna that blue collar player that's gonna do every little thing she's gonna die for loose balls she's like everything so that's just that's just Casa's true instinct yeah as you mentioned you weren't crying when you were talking about Kylie but have you thought about Sunday and who hey, who go. will hey. cry See, y'all go. See, listen, I already told my family, I said, nobody better not cry. Because if they cry, then I'll cry. But if they don't cry, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to cry. But I think out of the seniors who are going to be the first one to cry, uh, I would definitely say Kylie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kylie's going to be the first one to cry. Um, I don't think I'm going to cry. Yeah, I'm not gonna cry, man. Come on. I think you are. I'm not gonna cry. Catch <laughs> you the whole time. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna hold it in. Looking back to last senior day, uh, both of you, uh, in a way, played in the shadows of two of the great seniors last year. Kylie, using you as the example, Jeff said, you know, Kylie and Sam are two different types of players. But just like tonight, you had a very physical game with Emma that you came out on top of. How is it that both of you? grew into and became comfortable with who you were as a player individually as opposed to trying to be something you maybe were not? Um, just confidence, getting in the gym, knowing what you do, knowing what you don't do well. And then this team, like, it's been great. Um, like, I don't need to be a driver because Jazz can drive. Like, I don't know, you just need to focus on your strengths and try to minimize your weaknesses. Um, like Coach Wall said, I'm not exactly the physical player that Sam was, but I kind of watched how she played to see how I could use her physicality to the way I play. So it was nice watching Myesha and Sam having the players before me and being able to use what they do in my game. When did I was you guys imagine Asia Dura and Myesha Hines Allen, girls who could just really kind of take over a game? For you all, it's a lot of pieces, and they, they mesh right, and when it meshes right, you get games like this or games like Pitt. When did you guys see things really click um, about what, what this potential could be when everything uh, meshed right for you all? I think execution and moving the ball. I think we're sharing the ball very well and cutting <coughs> when other players have the ball. So it's not one person left out to dry. We're um, doing a whole team effort.